Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about something that's part of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And it's something that has kept me from playing the game, other than the fact that I got to a really good point to stop in the story, you know, to sometime pick it back up. But it is that there is a built-in boredom to the game that actually makes you kind of use it in a way. Now let me explain this. So, how do you have played Kingdom Come Deliverance? The tutorial, I think, if you add up everything, is like seven hours long. Seven, eight hours long. The tutorial section is long. Now, obviously, the combat parts, you learn a lot about combat. You don't actually get put into combat until much later into the game, which I think the, the parts where you get put into combat is actually kind of early. But anyways, you get put into combat into the game later. You learn everything. Like, you're just this dude with, like, a bat right? You don't get a sword till way long. And so the game is really slow paced and it's really bored, but it's built into the game. The way that's built into the game is very subtle. And I think it's actually easy to see once you get to the parts where you have to investigate people um, for specific things. I'm not going to spoil it because I know some people, you know, are avoiding spoilers. But when you investigate some things, there's sometimes you have like six or seven options and only one of them or two of them lead to the correct to solving the puzzle. The rest of them are storytelling elements. And you need that slowness to soak in the story, right? Like, the person's like, you can talk to this person, this person, or this person. You talk to the first person, he's like, I got hurt, but hey, you're my friend. And you can sit there, ask this guy about being your friend, or investigate more. And you need time to process all that story elements, all the story elements, put them together. Because there's a lot of story going on constantly in this game. The only time there really isn't story is during big battles or combat sections. Like combat sections, you're just fighting someone. But in between everything is just story, 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 story. And then you get to the parts where you're traveling across the land. And this stuff kind of gets, it gets boring traveling across the land, kind of. You see, when you're traveling across the land, you you kind of get used to riding your horse or walking around more because the movement is really weird. And it, the movements this game is really weird. It's not as snappy as you'd expect a video game. So it gives you time to get used to the movement. Horseback riding, right? If You can either do the auto run or you sprint. But if you sprint with your horse, you have to learn how to control it. So it gives you time to use your horse more and get more effective riding the horse. So there's all these like little elements that they use to mix in with the bored, boring parts, right? I'm one that I like to get on with the main story and I don't do a lot of side quests, but the few side quests I've done have, again, been super good story elements. And without the boredom of like traveling across or doing this or that, I wouldn't be able, I honestly don't think anyone would be able to understand what the heck is going on in this game. Like there's a moment where you're going out to hunt with someone, right? You guys know where this is, this is the main quest. You go out to hunt with someone. And you really get a feel for their personality, right? So then, here's what here's what happens, right? The boring parts happen. They tell you, da 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 da, this 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 this. Storytelling, storytelling, storytelling. And all of a sudden, you do another side quest with this guy, and the game just gets right to the point because you already know what to expect with this guy. But he still pulls out surprises, right? He still does this. He still does that. So they b use the boredom in the game to build up the characters and really build up the world. That's why the game can seem boring when it's really building up the story so that you understand what's going on. Because if you didn't understand what was going on in this game, it would lose its touch because it's a very story-driven game. It needs the time to explain the story. So that is why Kingdom Come Deliverance has a bit of a boredom built into it. It gives you time to think about the story, plan out things, figure out things, right? Because after combat, you need to think about what you did or else you're going to get really bad at combat. You're not going to be good. So it needs that time to make you think, use your brain, as well as tell the story of the game. Because the game is so story-focused. I think it's very good on story focus. So tell me what you think about this in the comments below. Do you like the boredom? Do you dislike it? For me, I with the amount of empty space in between the game, I only played the game when I had a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time now, so I don't play the game because it, you know, it's better in like chunks, big chunks. So I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.